Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? Today I wanted to go over how to use your Python code to create a text to handwriting conversion. Uh, so this is really, really cool to use. Um, so you'll need a dependency to do that. And I'll just clear my console here. And you need to install PyWhatKit. So you can just do pip install pywhatkit, and that package has a lot of really cool things that you can use. So I'll wait for that to download. Everything should already be done. I've already got this installed, so it'll say something like requirements already satisfied. But if yours just comes out to um, your name right here, and it's waiting for additional code without any errors, then that has downloaded successfully, okay? So first thing you're going to do is you're going to import pywhatkit, okay? And it's really going to be short and simple. And I'll just say that this next code is going to be text to handwriting, okay? So what it's going to look like is that you're going to use pywhatkit dot and it's called text underscore to underscore handwriting. And it's going to take uh, two parameters here. And so it's going to be whatever your text is. And it's going to take in RGB. So you can have it convert to a certain pen. So if we just did 000, zero, zero as default, it will just come out as black handwriting, okay? Um, so I'm just going to create some text. So I'll say text equals, and I'll just do a multi-line string. That way I can just write whatever I want in the format that I want. So I can say, uh, dear uh, YouTube, one, two, three, four, five. I have loved creating these tutorials for you. And I'm just doing this to check to see if it does all this indentation and all the spacing and everything. So I have this text right here, and it's going to be run through this function, the text to handwriting function, and it's going to take that color. And now you can simply just go to a little website or something. I like to use coolers, coolers.co, and if you hit generate, it'll randomize a color for you. Um, and because I need the RGB, I can just come here, select RGB, and I can say, just copy that color, okay? I can come in here and hit paste, and that should be that turquoise blue, okay? So now if I run my code, let's do Python, just do Python, and then your file that you're trying to run, space test.py, run that, and it might take a little bit, but after a little bit, it's going to pop up over here as a uh, PNG, I believe it's going to be. Okay, so there it is. And there it is. Dear YouTube, I have loved creating these tutorials for you. I would love your suggestions on my next tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks. Cool. And it even kept all of my indentation. Um, and it just looks really good. So that is a very simple way of using this new package that I've discovered of PyWhatKit. 
Um, there's a lot of other cool things uh, that you can do with it, and I will actually be making a couple more videos on some of that package. If you have any suggestions or requests for my next tutorial, please let me know down in the comments. I've been accepting a lot of these suggestions and creating these videos for you guys. Uh, so please like and subscribe so that you're notified for my next video. I will see you guys next time.